you can start it now i okay so okay, okay sir okay. you are audible shall we start sir yes okay sir good morning and namaste to all this is dr nirmal sharma vice chancellor bhagwan mahavir university surat it is indeed a pleasure to be with you on this platform interacting with you online although bhagwan mahavir university was established in the year 2019 but the parent body bmf is uh, functional since 2002 since then we have come up a long way sir in academics sir, from kg to pg level and phd studies along with social welfare we are part different phases of uncertainty in every step of life and profession still with a hope of life and continuity we are moving ahead although the current situation is a challenging but opportunity awaits for all in coming days uh, be it academics or industry there is a change in the functional pattern of living to have a glim uh, glimpse of the challenges and opportunities for smes post covid 19 situation we have with us a renowned personality and mentor of revolutionary change sri nitin gadkari ji sri nitin gadkari and highways uh, minister of shipping and the smes minister of micro small and medium enterprises government of india gadkari ji earlier served as the president of the bharatiya janata party from 2010 to 2013 he is also known for his work as the public works department minister of state of maharashtra where under his leadership a series of roads highways and flyovers across the state uh, were constructed including the mumbai pune expressway India's first six-lane con concrete uh, high-speed expressway. He is closely associated with the Rashtriya Swamsevak Sangh (RSS), which is headquartered in his home constituency of Nagpur. He is currently uh, he currently represents the Nagpur constituency in uh, the Lok Sabha and is a lawyer and an industrialist by occupation. Sir, on behalf of Bhagwan Mahavir University, Surat, I welcome you for the live session. as online mega job fair is also going on in this campus in association with the labor and employment department government of gujarat i welcome all the officials associated with us uh, shri bukesh uh, vasava ji deputy director directorate of employment and training government of gujarat district employment officer surat paul madam shri bipin bhai ncc aap sabhi ka swagat hai i do welcome shri rajendra prasad gupta ji full time director bharat group Shri Ketan Desai Ji, President South Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Surat. Shri Ladani Ji, Manager DIC. Shri Parvesh Khanna Ji, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court. आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत है. हमारे भी Shri Suresh Jain Ji भी उपस्थित हैं. आप RSS के वरिष्ठ प्रचारक हैं. वर्तमान भारत विकास परिषद के राष्ट्रीय संगठन मंत्री हैं. आपका अभिनंदन और Every year mega job fair is organized by us. thousands of students and hundred companies take part for selection every year in this campus in training this time it was a challenging situation for us to provide this facility to the students despite of all technical and social hurdles we decided to conduct placement process online the recruiters and students can come on same platform sitting at their places of comfort especially the students uh, sitting at their home and the process of interview and selection can be completed Simon Kinesi by all companies this was a unique feature with us this time all can sit at their own places and interact and still the placement can go on i am very happy to announce that more than 6000 students and 300 plus companies have registered for this online mega job fair to 2020 for about uh, 3000 plus vacancies this university caters to more than 10000 students 850 plus staff With 28 colleges with more than 150 courses, spread across 20 acres of land with state-of-the-art infrastructure at international level. This university and Sonipat campus both started online classes for students uh, from 23rd of uh, March for online teaching learning process. Assignments and internal exams were also conducted online. It's my pleasure to welcome one and all who have joined us on this platform and uh, rest of all those who joined. facebook live once again i welcome all the dignitaries present on this platform online i welcome all the trustees of uh, bhagwan mahavir education foundation 
with this note, uh, may I request Honorable Minister Sri Gadkari ji to present his views, sir, please. All uh, students, professors, dean, and uh, particularly our respectable Suresh Jainji, senior Pracharak of RSS and Rashtriya Sangatan Mantri for Bharat Vikas Parishad. Also, all the respectable members of Bharat Vikas Parishad, honorable member of Chamber of Commerce, dear students, it is a pleasure and pride for me to interact with you. India is the fastest growing economy. The most important and crucial problem in Indian economy is how we are going to create more employment potential. Employment potential is the most important agenda for the government. And we need to develop employment potential into rural tribal agriculture and particularly 115 aspirant districts. We are the fastest growing economy. Presently, we are facing the crucial problem due to COVID-19. But not only India is facing, but the whole world is facing. Now there is a lot of negativity. Now it is the time for all the responsible so uh, person in the society to create positivity, sakarat makta, and self-confidence in the mind of the people. This is very important. Without that, we cannot fight war against COVID-19. Our history indicates that before 47 and after 47, we have faced a lot of wars, a lot of big crucial issues, and particularly Gujarat, you know that you face the problem in Morvi, a lot of problem we are facing. Whatever the problems we are, which are already faced by our society, it is already a proven history that we will we already all win over all the problems. So this is the time for the Indian society and all of us to create positivity and self-confidence in the mind of the people. I am confident that we will win this war against COVID-19. We will get vaccine as early as possible, and that is going to resolve our problem. At the same time, we are facing economic war. And now the Prime Minister has declared about Atmanirbhar Bharat. Sukhi Samruddha Sampanna Shakti Shali, super economic power in the world, that is the dream. And exactly we all need to work on that direction. Presently, the technical education, vocational education, professional, profession oriented education is very important. The innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research skill, and successful practices, we name it as a knowledge. And conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future for the country. Already all our software engineers proved to be the best in the world. They are well recognized and respected. Everywhere, either it is Silicon Valley or the Japan, Germany, UK, everywhere. Our software engineers have got a tremendous reputation and because of their capability, their performance, they always increase the credibility of Indian society. At the same time, our doctors are very prominent in UK and USA. Out of 10 good doctors in USA, four are Indians. And this is really a great achievement for all of us. India is a rich nation with a poor population. Our country is rich, but the population is poor. We need appropriate vision development for our country. And that is important that how, what type of health services we have, what type of education we have, what type of innovation, research, technology we have, that is very important. In the present world economic scenario, now, the whole world is now searching for an economic growth center. Actually, majority of the country, they have good contract, good transaction with China. But now majority country now, they, they are now in the line of 
searching new innovative center which is going to give them all type of material supply from that country and that is exactly the need of the world in the scenario i feel that this covid 19 is also a problem but it is in blessing in disguise we need to convert problems into opportunities not opportunities into the problems this is the challenge for indian society to convert this this challenge this problem into opportunities i feel that we have got tremendous potential for export and to increase export we need to reduce logistic cost labor cost and power cost at the same time upgradation of technology is equally important we need good technology without compromise with the with the quality we need to reduce the cost at the same time we should be very very competitive in international market i'm giving an example kandla port is there in gujarat we have 12 major port at that time when i was minister with shipping ports and inland waterways our budget was only 800 crore so five years it comes only 4000 crore but we have taken a big program name as sagar mahala and where we decided to start the work more than 16 lakh crores and today it is a great pleasure and pride for me that we have completed works more than 6 lakh 50 thousand crore the resources are important technology is very important but the most important thing is positive will that positive will self confidence is very important appropriate vision is very important the government need transparency time bound decision making approach transparency corruption free system and now we need the methodology which is related with the it we are all nationalist we have faith on our country we want to make our country economically strong we want to make our country a super economic power and that is only possible when we have lot of initiative in different fields by which we can make india economically strong gao garib mazdoor and kisan they are the more most important stakeholders they are facing the problem of poverty and poverty is we are facing because we don't have employment we need to increase the per capita income and gdp gdp growth in agriculture tribal rural and 115 aspirant districts which are socially economically educationally backward now you are thinking on the line of making of agro msmes now we need to have a technology where we can convert waste into wealth i am very much interested in making lot of experiments in my own life we have already in nagpur 7 years before we in nagpur municipal corporation where we decide to sell the sewage water of nagpur and today we are getting 325 crores royalty from selling of toilet water sewage water to government of maharashtra for power generation now the idea is now i am trying all uh, my level best to on the project i am working from that water we will get methane and bifurcate methane from co2 we will get bio cng and the idea is to run our buses on that we have already converted or uh, we have 400 buses in nagpur out of which 80 buses we have already converted on bio cng presently we have loss of 60 crore per year but when we will be in position to convert our 450 buses on bio cng and all cars and uh, four wheelers of corporation on bio cng we will save 60 crore rupees per year this is import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous now we have got the technology that conversion of biomass into bio cng we can convert rice straw five ton of rice straw is giving one ton of bio cng and we can run our truck buses scooters everything they are in place of petrol and diesel we can make that fuel fuel in our rural and agriculture area we are now trying to develop ethanol economy from sugar cane juice syrup molasses we are getting ethanol and now we are converting this uh, flex engine technology in the country 
where there will be a choice with the people, either they can use 100% petrol or ethanol. Already in Brazil, Canada, and USA, they have flex engines. All of these BMW, Mercedes, Honda, Toyota, Hyundai, all the brands are present there. You have a choice on the petrol pump, whether you can use ethanol or petrol. Now, government is now giving permission to making ethanol from rice, from food grains. We have surplus food grains, surplus sugar, surplus wheat. We need to have now the policy of diversification of agriculture towards energy and power sector. We need to reduce our import. I'm giving a good example for agarbatti sticks and uh, the spoons particularly using for ice cream. Now we have increased the duty on that. 30% duty is there. In the Surat and Ahmedabad, there are people who are making the machine for making of agarbatti sticks. That is import substitute, cost effective and pollution free. If we save this 4,000 crore imports, we are going to create 25 lakhs people. They will got, they will get employment from that. And this is the time that handloom, handicrafts, honey, then blue economy, then a forest material, different type of material, bioenergy, biofuels, then food processing industries. We can export our fruits, vegetables to abroad and where we get good value addition. And for that purpose, we need technology. I always, I will request you all the VCs and your executive council member that we should have a coordination, communication and cooperation between the society and the university. If you are in Surat, I don't know what are the main crops in that area, but whatever the raw material, whatever the minerals are available, on the basis of that, if the university is going to make the research on that line, that can be very much useful, useful for the area where university is there. So we need to improve our technology. The innovation, the research is very important. We need good education and skilled is very important. The skilled, talented, skilled manpower, young manpower is the strength for the country. Indian population, population is a huge market. And the skilled, trained manpower is the strength of the country. So this is the time that we can make India a super economic power. For that purpose, we need to reduce our imports and increase our export. I will request you people like you, you can make a research and study of the material which we are importing. And you should find out the way out and giving appropriate vision to entrepreneurs by which they can make import substitute cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. The ethics, economy, and ecology and environment. These are the three important things which are related with our development. And the value-based education system, value-based family system is the strength for Indian society. We are all in favor of modernization, but we are not in favor of westernization. Uh, our Sanskruti, Itihas, Virasat is really a strength for all of us. On the basis of that, we are adopting technology, innovation, research, we name as a knowledge, and knowledge is the most important powerful power. And that power coming from university. So university is a power generating station, which is generating knowledge, power to the people. You are making the future citizen of India in your university and you are giving them appropriate vision. Our students are the strength for the future. Their knowledge, their innovation, their research, their personality, their leadership, everything is the asset for the country. And that is very important. Here is the, I, I, I am seeing the board Bharat Vikas Parishan. What is the meaning of Bharat Vikas Parishan? Way that is exactly Atma Nirbar Bharat, Swavalambi Bharat, Samruddha Bharat, Sampanna Bharat, Shakti Shali Bharat, Bharat free from Bhai Bhuk, Atanka, and Brashtacha. That is to be an ecology and environment point of clean Bharat. There will be no water pollution, air pollution, a sustainable life system for all the stakeholders. That is the dream. Free from, free from poverty. And eradication of poverty is the mission for all of us. 
And for that reason, if you want to establish the social equality and economic equality are very important. For that reason, we need to work on innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, and skill. And university are the centers where we can give an appropriate vision to the society. I always tell to people that you can donate I, but you cannot donate vision. Appropriate vision for development of that district, appropriate vision for development of that village, appropriate vision for development of that particular state is very important. I'm giving you an example, and the example is related with Gujarat. We are just making Delhi Mumbai Express Highway. And now when first we have decided to make the highway, the alignment was exactly planned by my department was starting from Delhi to Delhi, then near to Ahmedabad, Surat, Vadodara to Mumbai. The land acquisition cost was coming to three crore rupees per kilometer. But one of my OSD who is, who is IIT graduate from Chennai, he's a Tamilian. He go on to detail, on to detail in you know, Google and he find out a new alignment. And that alignment is going from the backward and tribal area of Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. That is starts from Sona near Gurgaon, coming to Alwar, uh, Savai Madhopur, then going to Jabua, Ratlam, and then coming to Vadodara to Mumbai. So this alignment is now finalized. We have 100% land acquisition is completed and we save 16,000 crore on land acquisition. In place of giving three crore rupees per acre, now we are giving 10 to 20 lakhs rupees per acre because this is a backward and tribal area of Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. And this 12 lane axis control express highway, our work have already started and 32 packages already awarded out of 62. And we will come within three, four months, we will complete start all the work and within three years, we will make this road where Gujarat to Mumbai, it is this road is going to reduce the distance by 220 kilometer. And the distance will be only 12 and a half hour. You can start from Delhi and going to Mumbai. But the most important factor related with those road is the backward and tribal area of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Haryana will develop. Because I remember the statement of American President John Kennedy it is already written in my office that American roads are not good because America is rich, but America is rich because American roads are good. This road will give prosperity to the tribal and backward area of Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. So we are now planning for making of industrial clusters. We can make food cluster, we can make plastic cluster, we can make different type of clusters, creating more employment potential in the rural and tribal area. So this is exactly an appropriate vision by which we can develop the backward area. Now everyone want to settle in Ahmedabad, everyone want to go to Mumbai, to Bangalore, to Chennai, or Calcutta, or to Delhi, neither to Noida, neither Gurugaon. We need decentralization of industry. We need decentralization of wealth. We need development of all stakeholders. And we need development of socially, economically, educationally backward people those who are already residents of 115 aspirant districts, those who are already in the agriculture, tribal and rural area, their per capita income is very negligible. Their GDP contribution is very negligible. And without development of this rural India, backward India, we cannot make good mark as far as our development is concerned. If we need to increase our growth, that is very important. Presently, we have 16 to 17% contribution in our GDP from agriculture and allied sector, 22 to 26% from manufacturing sector, and 52 to 56% from the service sector. Now we need to change this. 65 to 70% of our population is belong to rural area. We are 100% going to make smart city. At the same time, we need to make smart villages. And people like you, university, you can plan for that. You can give appropriate vision for that with economic viability. Money is not the problem. I'm making a lot of roads in NHR. I don't have any problem of resources. Today, actually for this two year, we have decided to make road construction of 15 lakh crores. My budget is only one lakh crore. 
So the for five years, I will get five lakh crores. But this amount we are going to raise from the capital market. We are now trying to get investment from abroad, the insurance fund, pension fund, funds from the ADB, World Bank, from the Bigs Bank. We are trying to get funds from the government like LIC, the other institutions. So money is not the problem. And so for the reason, this is the time for the country that we need to develop good type of infrastructure, water, power, transport, and communication. In Gujarat, we have good bus ports. We can make 2000 bus ports in the country. We are already developing waterways. Now there is a connectivity from Varanasi to Haldia, 1320 kilometers as a waterways. From Haldia to uh, Brahmaputra, the Bengal Sea is there. The Brahmaputra dredging is completed. Now Allahabad to Varanasi, that dredging one feet, one meter drop is already completed. Now we have submitted the DPR to World Bank, starting it from Delhi in Yamuna, going to Mathura, Mathura to Agra, Agra to Itawa, Itawa to Allahabad, and Allahabad to Varanasi. So we can take all material from Haryana, Punjab, taking in Yamuna and taking up to Northeast, not only up to Northeast, up to China, Myanmar, and up to Southeast Asia. And there is a revolutionary change. If going by road, the cost is 10 rupees. Going by railway is 6 rupees. Going by waterways is only 1 rupees. So now this is the time that we can develop. Actually, when I visited in Sardar Sarovar, the idea was click in my mind that we can develop the waterways. And by waterways, we can go up to the Narbada. We are going to, up to uh, uh, Sardar Sarovar. That can be possible. That is going to increase the tourism. There will be a lot of resorts, restaurants, hotels, creating more employment potential for the young, talented people. So exactly the appropriate vision of development of that area is very important. And I feel that the university, they, their role is very important. And they should visualize with making research that what will be the future policy for the country? What type of problem our policy where we are facing? What type of change we need? What type of technology we have? How we can upgrade the technology? How we can make the quality of pro increase the priority of products? These are the things which you can resolve the problem in your laboratory. I'm giving an example. In the PP kit two months before, we have imported a special flight with a PP kits from China. Today, we are our MSME is making six lakh kick, uh, PP kits per day. Now, the government is giving permission for export. The sanitizer, actually, I remember the sanitizer rate was go to 1200 rupees per liter. Uh, I'm related to the sugar factory. They are making alcohol, ethanol. I, I requested all the sugar factories and state government to give them license for manufacturing of sanitizer. And the rate is now coming to 160 rupees per kilometer. Now we can export. And rate was going up to 1200 rupees per liter. But because of high production, now it comes to 160 rupees per liter. This is exactly the way in which we need to plan and by which we can increase the productivity, reduce the production cost, and by getting good quality, by reducing logistic cost, labor cost, and power cost, we can, we can be competitive in the international market to get more export. To get more export is a nationalism. Exactly, this is the time for the country that we need to have big export. And for that reason, the people like you who are working in the university should give an appropriate vision to the students that what type of new material we will use, what type of new designs, how we can reduce, increase the productivity, how we can reduce the cost, how we can upgrade the technology and how we can use the waste material in it. That is exactly the role of university is very important. We need technical education. We need professional education. We need to increase skill, different type of skill. And we need to give them an appropriate vision by which we can make India super economic power. Our dream of our prime minister to make Indian economy of $5 trillion. At the same time, 100 lakh crore of infrastructure. The role of universities, the role of future students who are the future citizen of this country is very important. And the university like you is supposed to give them an appropriate vision. And that is exactly by which this process we can achieve our goal. It is really a pleasure for me. You have a big exam now because in this COVID period also, you have a 
uh, a lot of participation from the industry and the industry's product, their vision. They are giving good vision to the students who can understand what exactly how the manufacturing process, how the marketing process, what type of product they are making, what is the cost they can reduce. And they can understand about the knowledge, about the experiences. Because knowledge and experiences, successful practices, that is also a knowledge. So always I propagate one philosophy. One is innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skilled, and successful practices, name it as a knowledge, and conversion of knowledge into wealth. And the other philosophy, which is very touching to my heart, that is conversion of waste into wealth. No one is waste. It is depending upon the technology, research, that you can use that material and converting waste into wealth. So it is depending upon your research. Your research. It is depending upon the leadership who can convert waste into wealth. No one is waste. We need appropriate technology, appropriate leadership who is going to change the West into wealth. So I really appreciate the approach of the university, which is very much committed for the progress and development, giving appropriate vision for the students. I am giving my special thanks to Bharat Vikas Parishad and particularly Suresh Ji for his, uh, his present in this program. Their Bharat Vikas Parishad is very much committed for progress and development of our country. Bharat ko atma nirbar banana, sukhi samruddha sampanna shakti shali banana, bhai bhuk atanka brashta char se mukta karna, aise ek sukhi samruddha sampanna Bharat ka sapna. Bharat Vikas Parishad dekhti hai, humare vichar parivar ke log dekhti hai. Ki hum do char rahe na rahe, par tera vaivav amar rahe maa. Yani humare desh ke prati hai, humare joh shraddha hai. यही हमारे फीलिंग्स हैं और हमारे एजुकेशन के माध्यम से शिक्षा के माध्यम से हम विश्व में हमारे देश को प्रथम क्रमांक का स्थान प्राप्त करने के लिए प्रयास करेंगे अपने देश को भय भूख आतंक का भ्रष्टाचार से मुक्त करेंगे सुखी समृद्ध संपन्न शक्तिशाली देश का निर्माण करेंगे और सामाजिक आर्थिक समता समाज में प्रस्तापित करेंगे कोई भी व्यक्ति जात पंत धर्म भाषा शेख से बड़ा नहीं होता उसके गुणों से बड़ा होता है इसी बात पर विश्वास रखकर सामाजिक समता और आर्थिक समता सोशल इक्वालिटी एंड इकोनॉमिक इक्वालिटी को प्रस्तापित करके हम नए भारत का निर्माण करेंगे और प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो कहा आत्मनिर्भर भारत का यही राष्ट्रवादी संकल्पना को लेकर हम आगे जा रहे हैं मेरा विश्वास है कि कोविड नाइन्टीन की लड़ाई तो हम जीतेंगे ही और उसके साथ साथ आर्थिक लड़ाई भी जीतेंगे ये एक टेम्पररी फेज है जिस संकट का हम सामना कर रहे हैं अभी तक अनेक संकटों का हमने सामना किया है सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस आत्मविश्वास के साथ पॉजिटिविटी के साथ सकारात्मकता के साथ इन संकटों का मुकाबला करेंगे और विश्वास के साथ आगे जाकर हम विजयी होंगे यही हमारी भावना है और इसी भावना से आप सब लोग भी काम कर रहे हैं मुझे खुशी है कि आपके इस कार्यक्रम में शरीक होने का मौका मिला मेरी आप सब की मैं विशेष रूप से विद्यार्थियों की भाई बहनों के उज्जवल भविष्य की कामना भगवान महावीर जी के चरणों में करता हूं कि उनको बहुत बहुत उज्जवल भविष्य प्राप्त करें मिले और आप सबको मेरी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और शुभेच्छाएं धन्यवाद नमस्कार भारत माता की जय थैंक यू सर फॉर यू आर द इंस्पिरेशन एंड होप फॉर द कंट्री मैन uh we will definitely uh, do something into the advice which you have given us your work for the national development is basically this sir we will look into the social equity and uh, economically uh, equality as you guided us we will definitely do something as a value education based study skill based studies and as you said social touch we will definitely look into this one and we will uh, in the program as per your advice Thank you so much, sir, for uh, being with us. Thank you so much. Uh, may I now request uh, Hitesh Joshi, sir, to uh, for vote of thanks. Mm, thank you, Sanam, sir. First of all, I would like to offer my warmest greeting to Honorable Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari, sir, and other dignity gathered on this virtual dais. It is my honor to cast a vote of thanks on behalf of Bhagwan Mahavir University. Firstly, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to Sir Nitin Gadkari ji 
who spared time from his busy schedule to grasp the occasion. Sir, today we had opportunity to hear your valuable thoughts in this very crucial subject. Small scale industry are the heartbeat of the Indian economy. Now that we have expected this new normal scenario and decide to keep on moving forward despite the advertise, you have shown the new path to our audience and inspire them to grab the wonderful opportunity provided by our government and bloom their small scale and micro industries. Once again, thank you so much, sir, for blessing us with your presence. I would like to thank Sri Suresh Janji, RSS Pacharak, and Rashtriya Sangatan Mantri, Bharat Vikas Parishad, Mr. Parvez Khanna Ji, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court, New Delhi, Mr. Mukesh Vasawa Ji, Deputy Director, Employment Office, Ms. Parul Madam, District Employment Office, Mr. Bipin Bhai, Career Council, MCC, and Mr. Rajan Prasad Gupta Ji, Director Bharat Group, and all respected guests for gracing occasion and incurring us. Let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude to all the recruiters who are taking part in our today's placement program. Next, I would like to convey my thanks to our digital partner, Exotic Digital Web Channel, our media partner, MyFM, and our news channel partner, ATV Digital News, for their exclusive coverage. I would also like to thank our Honorable Trustee and Provost Sir for their support and motivation for planning this event. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very pro proactive and dedicated staff of our institutes who are well visible in their job. I would like to deliver my special thanks to all the BMU directors, principal, faculty members and our technical team for taking care of very little details. And last but not the least, I would like to thank our attendees and candidates for being a part for this event. I hope this event has given you a new height regarding your future plans. Thank you one and all. Jai Hind. Signing off. Factory sir has uh, left the platform. Uh, Namaskar. 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 मैं आप सबका बहुत-बहुत आभार करता हूं धन्यवाद करता हूं धन्यवाद जी धन्यवाद सर धन्यवाद सुरेश जी आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे नितिन गडकरी जी ने आदरणीय नितिन गडकरी जी ने जो बहुत ही एक्सप्लेन रूप में हमको बताया है यह मार्गदर्शन यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए भी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए भी और जो आज यूथ इस रोजगार मेले में उपस्थित हुए हैं वो आगे बढ़ेंगे और यूनिवर्सिटी एक इस प्रकार की योजना बनाएगी जिस प्रकार से आदरणीय नितिन जी ने हम सब का मार्गदर्शन किया है हमको एक गाइडलाइन दी है और इस प्रकार से नए नए स्टार्टअप नए नए इनोवेटिव प्रोग्राम रिसर्च यह यूनिवर्सिटी में होने चाहिए टेक्नोलॉजी को उपयोग करते हुए और यह यूनिवर्सिटी पूरे देश में एक आइकॉन बन सके इसका प्रयास यूनिवर्सिटी के जो ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हैं जो पदाधिकारी हैं उन सबको चिंता करनी चाहिए और इस प्रकार का आगे काम बढ़ाना चाहिए बहुत ही अच्छा और डिटेल और मार्गदर्शन नितिन जी ने किया है और बहुत ही टू द पॉइंट बात करते हुए उन्होंने हम सबको बताया है कि कैसे देश आगे बढ़ सकता है आज आवश्यकता है देश की हालांकि नितिन जी ने चाइना के बारे में थोड़ा नहीं लेकिन उनके सारी बातचीत में यह स्वावलंबी बनाना देश को स्वतंत्र बनाना और इस प्रकार से देश को शक्तिशाली बनाना यह उनकी बातचीत का एक सार था और वो बहुत ही अच्छा श्रेष्ठ मैं नितिन जी को भी बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद और बधाई देता हूं कि उन्होंने बहुत थोड़े समय में बहुत ही विस्तृत और यह सारा किया यूनिवर्सिटी को चाहिए कि इस उद्बोधन को पूरे देश में भिन्न-भिन्न यूनिवर्सिटी में भिन्न-भिन्न स्थानों पर भिन्न-भिन्न समाज में जैसे भारत विकास परिषद में हम इसका पूरा एक्सप्लेन करेंगे
पूरा अपने सदस्यों तक इसको भेजेंगे इतना अच्छा एक वक्तव्य यह देश के सामने जाना चाहिए ताकि सभी इससे लाभांत लाभान्वित हो सके और इससे आगे बढ़ सके मैं यूनिवर्सिटी को और सभी उपस्थित उद्योगपतियों को और छात्रों को बधाई देता हूं शुभकामना देता हूं कि उन्होंने और इसमें उपस्थित होकर के और इस प्रकार के वेबिनार का आयोजन किया धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू सर फॉर योर मोटिवेटिंग वर्ड्स हमारे साथ राजेंद्र गुप्ता जी भी हैं सर आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर निरम निरम शर्मा जी सरोज जैन साहब लास्ट दो दिन से आपके साथ वेबिनार अटेंड कर रहा हूं मैं और काफ़ी अच्छा लगा कि आप लोगों ने मुझे बोलने का मौका दिया है और जैसा आ गया नितिन गडकरी जी ने कहा है कि कहा है कि भी हमारे जो तो डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे हम सोचें कि भी डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल में क्या इंडस्ट्री हैं क्या क्या नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज हैं उसको हम क्या कैसे कैसे मेजर एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं जिससे कि भी स्टूडेंट्स को लोकल एम्प्लॉयमेंट्स पे और और हमारे इसके लिए बहुत कुछ आगे हम को हो सकता है और गुजरात में जहां आपके सूरत में काफ़ी गुजरात स्टेट में इंडस्ट्री काफ़ी हैं और सभी को काफ़ी अच्छी रिक्वायरमेंट है अगर आप जितना अच्छा प्रोडक्ट देंगे जितने अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स देंगे तो देश की उतनी ज़्यादा अच्छी ग्रोथ होगी और मैं तो आपको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं दूंगा सर आपको कि जिससे हम आगे और बढ़े हम थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू साथ गुजरात चैम्बर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री के अपने केतन देसाई साहब भी हैं केतन देसाई साहब आप अवेलेबल है नहीं केतन देसाई साहब सर नहीं है मुकेश वसावा साहब आप तो गवर्नमेंट से हैं एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड ट्रेनिंग से आप लास्ट कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे इस विषय पर माइक ऑफ है सर आपका वसावा साहब आपका माइक ऑफ है ऑन कर लीजिए नमस्कार जी सभी को मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं सभी का लेकिन एक रिक्वेस्ट भी है आप सब लोग जो भारत विकास में आत्मनिर्भर भारत में हमारे युवाओं जो है उनको आपके अपने तरीके से जो भी आप मुहिम चला रहे हो जो सेवा कर रहे हो बस हमें भी जोड़ दीजिए मेरे पास बहुत सारे ये वैसे युवा जो हैं वो जुड़े हुए हैं मैं आप सबसे रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि मेरे जो ट्राइबल एरिया है ग्रामीण इलाके में जो युवा है इसके लिए सब कुछ करे कुछ सोचे और इनको हम जुड़े हमारे इस मिशन में तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और मैं बहुत ही इमोशनल हूँ इस बात पे क्योंकि मेरा जो पूरा ट्राइबल एरिया है तरस रहा है सब तरस रहा है अब सब लोग इनकी ओर और, और ज्यादा हिम्मत से ऊर्जा से जुड़ जाएं सर तो बहुत अच्छा होगा सर बहुत अच्छा होगा धन्यवाद भैया धन्यवाद कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे अनिल सर नहीं होगी बात है और सब करी बात है अभी ठीक है जी जी सर थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर बींग विथ अस इट वॉज अ वंडरफुल सेशन एंड आप लोग सभी आए हमारा मान संबंध बढ़ाया हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी का मान संबंध बढ़ाया इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद विथ परमिशन ऑफ चेयर अनिल सर संजय सर सुरेश जी वी आर कंक्लूडिंग दिस मीटिंग ठीक है ओके गो ऑफ द एप थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी लाइव लाइव सेशन बंद कर दो फेसबुक लाइव बंद कर दीजिए एंड लेट द पीपल गो वन बाय वन 
सिद्धांत अल्क कैड लिक्विड कैल्शियम नेचुरल इम्यूनिटी बूस्टर इंडिया की एकमात्र कंपनी जो एफ एस एस ए आई यू एस एफ डी ए डब्ल्यू एच ओ जी एम पी आई एस ओ फोर फाइव डबल जीरो वन द्वारा प्रमाणित है सिद्धांत अल्क कैड में कैल्शियम विटामिन बी थ्री मैग्नेशियम है जो अल्कलाइन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट नेचुरल एंटीबायोटिक है और ओ आर पी संतुलित करता है जो इम्यूनिटी बढ़ाने में एवं सत्तर से भी ज्यादा बीमारियों में सहाय करता है सिर्फ दो बूंद लिक्विड कैल्शियम रोज सुबह शाम 250 सौ पचास एम एल गुनगुने पानी में डाल के पीने से आश्चर्यजनक परिणाम मिलता है सिद्धांत लाइम प्राइवेट लिमिटेड